Um, I just woke up, but I was watching Michelle Walk, so I have a question for everybody about Fred Hill. Hold on a second. <laughs> My hair is a mess. I just, I just like woke up a couple minutes ago, so hold on. Let me turn this on. Oh my gosh. Can't believe I went live this early, but I have a question. This is really bizarre. I was listening to Michelle Walks over there and something kind of just dawned on me. Shoot. I don't know where my earphone is. <laughs> I don't think anyone's going to come in this early. Man, I can't believe I'm on already. It's like, I just got up like 30 minutes ago. And I started watching her and I'm just like, oh my gosh, I have a question. Good morning, good morning. Good morning. Is anyone in here? I've got to get my earphones. Oh, goodness gracious. I can't believe I'm up this early. Hi. I have a question. But let me give it a couple minutes. How are you? A blanket freak. I love my blankets. Shoot, I can't get this to work. There we go. Oh, here comes Sadie. I can hear her little footprints or footsteps. It's gonna be like, Mama, let me in, let me in. I haven't even brushed my hair yet. I just like jumped on real quick. I mean something just like went ding 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 in my head. I'm just like oh my gosh. When I was watching Michelle Walks. I guess she was talking about Fred. Him being in hot water. You know. Oops. What's going on here? Okay. Hi. Good morning. <coughs> Caitlin just shared something. Good morning, good morning. Nobody's in here. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and get started. Because you guys are going to watch a replay anyways. <clears throat> I'm wondering if Red Hill... Hold on one second. Wait a second, you know. I'm wondering if possibly that, uh, um, the detectives, you know, um, got some information about Fred. And the information was about Summer Wells. And possibly... Um, that's why they picked him up. Is the possibility? I don't know. But I'm thinking possibly it is. Maybe they weren't really wanting him on the drug charges. They were wanting him because of the Summerwell stuff. That's my question. 
I honestly don't know. And that's why when I was watching, watching Michelle, I was like, oh my gosh. What if they really wanted him for, not for drugs? What if it wasn't a drug bust? What if it was Summer Wells? Is that a possibility? Yes. It really is. It's a possibility. Because why all of a sudden he starts talking about Summer when he gets busted for drugs? That's just weird. And then he starts talking about a lie detector test. And he knows he's being recorded. That's kind of strange. What do you guys think about it? Do you think possibly that they uh, picked him up because Summerwell stuff? Could it have just been the Summerwell stuff? I'm wondering. Maybe it wasn't drugs at all. Maybe it's about Summer. I think maybe. I mean, that's just really strange. He's picked up. Um, he's in jail. And all of a sudden, boom, he's talking about Summer. Um, right away, did they question him about Summer? Or did they question him about drugs? I mean, that's just very weird. Why would he go on a call with Ziggy and say something like that? Why didn't he right away talk about drugs? Why is he talking about Summer? What does Summer have to do with him getting popped with drugs? Nothing. Maybe he doesn't want them to think that he's a suspect. Maybe he's scared. Maybe he's scared because he did something. That's just, I mean, that's just bizarre to me. I mean, who gets in trouble for drugs and then starts talking about something completely different? I mean, who would have thought, right? Unless this whole time, the cops knew that possibly he was a suspect. Could it have been him the whole time that they were looking at? I don't know. That's why I came on here, because I have the question. You know? It's very odd to me. You get in trouble for drugs and you start talking about somebody that's missing. That's not normal at all. And you start saying he knows where the body is. How do we know that she's not alive? How would he know she's gone? That she's not alive anymore. How would he know that? That's just, that whole thing is just strange. Is it strange to y'all? I understand wanting a deal and stuff, but that's not the way to get it. Come online and tell everybody that, you know, where a body's at. That just don't make sense. So what do you guys think? Does anyone have any opinions on it? I just think that's so strange. Anyone have anything to say? I think he's possibly a suspect. I think that's why they picked him up. I don't think they picked him up on drug charges, but even though he was charged, yeah. I bet they've been watching him so that they can pick him up. About the Summerwell stuff. Because why? Who does that? I mean, seriously. Think about it. Even if you did know information like that, what would make you say stuff like that? On a recorded line. Is he really that dumb? To say stuff like that on a recorded line? I mean, come on. The guy's got to be smarter than that. Unless he already told the cops all this stuff. Maybe he is just trying to get a deal. But I don't believe this is a way to get a deal. By telling everybody you know where a body's at. And not everybody thinks she's passed away I mean some people think that she's been kidnapped for her own good you know and she's living with somebody that's taking care of her really good so what would make him say something like that I think they've been watching him I think they've been watching him because of summer wells I think it's a big possibility what do you guys think 
I wonder if they offered him a deal, if he would talk about summer. Good morning. Good morning, good morning. Nice to see you. So what do you think, True Tory? You think this stuff about Fred Hill is strange or what? Good to see you, sweetie. Good to see you. I think this whole thing is just so bizarre. Because who gets caught with drugs, right? And then starts talking about something completely different. You think he's playing Ziggy? But he was on a recorded line. He knows they're going to listen to it. He always plays Ziggy, right? But why would he go on a recorded line like that and talk about Summer? That's what I'm wondering. What would make him do that? Knowing that everybody's going to listen to it and he's going to be questioned. I have a feeling that they've been watching him because of Summer. Is it a possibility, maybe? What do you think? Can you guys hit the thumbs up for me? It's all strange to me. I was watching Michelle Walks this morning and it's like, sounds like maybe he needs money. There, and his partner. Oh, his girlfriend, yeah. I wonder if she knows anything about the summer stuff. I'm curious about it. I'm curious to know what would make him talk about something like that whenever he gets busted for drugs. You know? Somebody that gets busted for drugs just doesn't go on this random tangent about something completely opposite and talking about a body when he could be implicated in it. Talking about a body. Who does that? I mean, honestly, what if everybody thinks that he's the one that did it and he knows where her body's at? He could be convicted of murder. You know? That just that whole thing doesn't make any sense. Wouldn't he be scared to talk? Thinking, oh my gosh, I know where her body's at. They might say I did it. They might say I killed her because I know where the body's at. Does he not think ahead like that or what? I guess I just watch too many crime shows or something. I don't know. Yeah, and he said something about Andy, too. But the thing with him is he could have been high at the time. You know, and being that high, you know, I hate to say it, but people that are that high probably don't pay attention to time very well. I mean, if he was wasted, you know, been doing dope for a week, not sleeping, he could have been wrong on his timing. You know, like he looked at his watch and said, oh, it's 3 o'clock and Dawn's home. You know? He was too fixated on what he was doing, I'm sure, to look at the clock. I don't know. I just think this whole thing is so strange. Because can he be implicated if he knows where a body's at? And he's trying to blame somebody that's dead, that's passed away? Wouldn't the cops be looking at him then? Saying, this guy is full of crap. He did this. Maybe he's just not very smart. I understand he's an old tweaker, but seems like he'd have more brains than that. I mean, shit, I heard he had like a meth lab or, or meth lab and he was uh, dealing drugs for a long time. So if he could get away with it for a long time doing that, hiding it from the cops, couldn't he think ahead? Yeah, true. We would have heard something through early. Yeah, that makes sense. You know, I think Fred could possibly just be a liar wanting attention from people. You know what? Maybe that's all it is, him wanting attention. 
And that's probably what he told everybody, you know, the cops, whenever he got in trouble and thrown in the hole. He probably said, you know, I lied. That guy, I tell you. Poor Ziggy. The, she thinks she's getting all the good information, and I think he's just bullshitting her. I feel sorry for her. I don't know why she even deals with him, you know? It's crazy. I don't think I'd be talking to him anymore at all with the way he's treated her. That's what I was thinking. You know, you know, you know, you know he knew the whole holler was being watched. How dumb can you be to continue selling drugs in that area? Exactly. See, and I thought that maybe he was smarter than that, but I guess not. How could he go so long without getting caught, though? That's what I don't understand. Has he been in prison before? Does anyone know? Does he have, like, a long rap sheet? I wonder. You know it? He could. He could have a long rap sheet. We just don't know about it. I don't even know why she talks to him after knowing that he's lied to her so much. Why does she talk to him? Oh, I remember that. I remember people talking about that. That's scary. I don't think I'd be meeting with a guy that has shot someone in the neck. But the thing is, he didn't go to prison for that, remember? So he got off with that. But he didn't kill the guy, right? The guy didn't die. I think the guy was just like seriously injured or something. Glad he's not in here. I look like a ghost, don't I? The sun's on me now. How is everybody this morning? I think I like going on earlier in the morning. You know it? Because it's like everybody's sleeping. Nobody's on right now. Yeah. <laughs> I wouldn't be meeting up with that guy. There's no way I'd be too scared. I'd be scared he'd shoot me in the neck. I mean, if you're going to shoot one person, seems like you'd be more susceptible to shooting another person, right? I don't know how to do this. Yeah, I hear you. You got a long list this morning? I have a long list of stuff not to do this morning. <laughs> Trying to avoid it. You know it. Clean or wash. Always something. Yeah, I need to do laundry. I don't want to do laundry, but I need to do it. I got to get it done. I hate doing laundry. Laundry is my biggest thing I hate. Are you doing okay out there? Did you fall and break your neck yet? He's on a ladder cleaning the gutters this morning already. Is it hot where you're at? It is so hot here. It's, the humidity is just so high. I can't stand it. Oh, you must have kids. You got small kids or something? Teenagers? Lots of kids at home, huh? Well, hopefully you have help doing laundry. Sorry, I look terribly. <laughs> I just, like I said, I just got up and I was watching Michelle Walks. And I was like, oh my gosh. I gotta ask him something. 88. Oh, that's not bad. Y'all are lucky. 
Man, I wish it was 88 here. It's been so hot. You don't even want to go outside here. I'm in Arkansas. It's been like at least 90, 95. Just too hot for me. Oh, grandbabies. Yeah, grandbabies are a lot of work, but they're fun, huh? I don't look forward to it. My girls are in college. My kids are in college. I got four in college now. So. <laughs> we are not going to have grand babies for a while. My oldest daughter, she just graduated college, and she's got like six to eight more years of college to go. She's going for her doctorate. Doc oh, whatever it's called. She's going to be a doctor. So, No babies until they're done. <laughs> oh, I bet, I bet, I bet. I got four kids, so I know what it's like. They, oh gosh, yeah, I had three diapers at once, and that was tough, very tough. It was hard, but we got through it. <laughs> yeah, I have um. I have a 18-year-old, 19-year-old, 20-year-old, and 22-year-old. So, I had them right in a row. Bless your heart. <laughs> Did you have yours right in a row, too? It's fun, though, you know? And, you know, if you have them when you're a little bit older, it's, it's fun, you know? three years apart yeah see I was I was 23 when I had my first so I was a little bit older so I could enjoy it more you know we went outside and played all the time I took him to the park all the time and took him to Walmart with me and bought him toys and you know we had a lot of fun when they were little we went a lot of places took him a lot of places you know we had a lot of fun. Went to Disney World. Took them to Disney World. Yeah, it was fun. I guess Grandma's funner, though, ain't it? Grandma's funner because you can send them home with their mama and daddy, right? <laughs> oh, goodness. Yeah, it was fun. It was hard because, you know, I had put my my daughter in daycare and uh, she ended up getting that uh, Novid virus or what's it called? No row, no row virus where they throw up and they have diarrhea at the same time. And we had to take her to the hospital and they had to put IV in her because she was so sick. Yeah, and that was from a day. Uh, daycare there you know yeah she got over it though she was tough tough girl but we ended up having to cut our vacation short a day short because of it because she got so sick and I remember her saying she said mom they made me eat, eat my food and now I'm sick and she went, Ugh, and threw up everywhere. I was like, oh my gosh, poor baby. It's like, what in the world's wrong? So we had to take her to the hospital. <sighs> poor baby. Yeah, she was two. She was two. That virus was a bad one. I think it's called the no, no toe or no row. No row virus. You ever heard of it? It's very serious for little kids. <clears throat> Daycares are, yeah. The kids get sick a lot. Yeah. And she was only there for a couple hours. That's it. We just... You know, we wanted to ride the big ride, so we just dropped her off at a daycare for a little while. We left for a couple hours and then came back, and then boom. She was sicker than a dog. Hey. Well, guys, I'm going to get off here, and I'll be back here a little later, okay? I'll be back here, Tori. Good luck with your chores. <laughs> 
Hopefully you get through them okay. <laughs> okay. I'll see you guys here in a little while. You too, sweetie. Bye.